This is 23 News at 5. Calling it an act of sheer evil, President Joe Biden slams the Hamas attack on Israel as reports surfaced that at least 14 Americans died and nearly two dozen are missing from the explosions. 23 News reporter Kaylee Randall talks with two women, one from Israel and the other with family in Palestine, who share their thoughts on the attacks and what needs to be done to bring about calm in the region. The deadly attack centered in one of the most densely populated areas in the world with people from Israel and Palestine mourning the massive losses and residents here in the U.S. with ties to the area praying for peace. Just the increasing numbers of, of, of dead, brutal slaughter of, of so many young people. There was really no other way for things to play out since um, Israel has been oppressing starving and killing Palestinians for such a long time. More than 1,000 people, including Israelis, died in an attack on Israel over the weekend. It started Saturday when Hamas fired a barrage of rockets and unloaded rounds of ammunition into the southern portion of the country. It's very complicated and anybody who thinks that it's black and white isn't paying attention. I do not enjoy saying this, but I believe it is a very justified war. Kathy Shahada's husband was born in Gaza, a strip of land in Israel that's ruled by Hamas. Their family is still in Gaza with no way to communicate. Palestinians, including Gazans, have tried many, many routes to peace and justice before this, and they just get pulverized. Rabbi Bina Wing also has family in Israel and says this is not a war. It's an act of terrorism on both Israelis and Palestinians. Anyone who thinks that Hamas is somehow helping the Palestinians by these actions is just incorrect. What are Palestinians going to do? You know, what other choice do they have? Because if they don't make any noise, they just they're starving to death slowly. Kathy says Gaza has a blockade on its borders right now that prevents food, medicine, and water from entering the Strip, and she is unsure if her family will survive. Rabbi Wing wants people to know Hamas is not an organization that should be praised. He calls it a terrorist group that is splitting the two regions apart in a deadly way.